This is just a quick little video. We're going to show you how to set up the Acuity AR700 laser sensors using uh, the TerraTerm program that, that you can download from our website. And it's just a terminal emulation program that allows you to connect directly with the laser sensor. And if you go to on the manual on page 43, you'll see all the serial command quick references. Uh, there, there, there really aren't that many that we're going to really look at changing. So let's go ahead and go into TerraTerm and we will uh, take a look at setting the laser sensor up. So you would typically you would download it's a zip file, you would install the TerraTerm the TerraTerm program and here you can see when you when you get a connection I've got a a serial to USB converter and it and it has found it here um, in I click on the serial and I do have a little uh, USB converter it's found it so I click OK and here you can see that we are streaming street streaming the the measurements and if I hit H2 it'll stop stop the laser and let's go in just to set up and and let me show you the serial port so here's the serial port I'm on COM5 you'd set your baud rate at 9600 8 bit for data, parity none, stop 1 bit, flow control none. So those are the settings. Uh, you can change baud rates and things like that, which is described in the manual. But for our purposes, what I would recommend that you do is before you power up the AR700s, send it back to factory default. And the way you would do that, you would power the laser down and then you would hold the function button, power the laser up, release the function button and then it'll put the laser will blink several times and it tells you it's back in factory default. Once you're in factory default, then we should be able to uh, get a good measurement. Let me also just look at the fonts. And of course, we can make it a larger font. And if I hit H1, we start measuring again. So just, just real quick, uh, this is a real good example of you know, getting the straight, simple uh, hyper-terminal connection. And if I hit H2, we, we stop it, and I can come into the in here, and I can change my sampling. So typically we're at 5 hertz, and that's S200,000. So if I go S20 and hit H1 again, you can see that we are, that we are measuring a little bit faster. Uh, so there are ways to change it. I can also change... Um, you know, from English to metric. And I say, once again, all these are on page 43. And once you have made these changes, uh, typically what I would do is that you would do what we call a write command. And so that, so that write command is going to be a W1234, hit enter. And it's not showing up on the screen, but what it'll, do, what it'll do, it'll burn that into the EEPROM. So if you make changes, then when you power the laser back up, if it's not in factory default, it will automatically go to those different settings. So that's, that's a hyper terminal, real, just a real basic communication program to the laser, but it gives you a lot of flexibility of setting your laser up and not having to go through um, other different uh, uh, sort of parameters where if, you, if you're not sure whether it's your laser or your power supply or your data acquisition, I would always say separate the laser from everything, go right into your hyper terminal and, and verify that the laser is working correctly. Uh, so having set that up, we also do have a um, demo program that you can download and you, you would download it zipped and you, and you would download it and it's just a nicer GUI for this, right? So here we're gonna, I will, I will show you this, the uh, features of this sensor. Uh, little, it's, it's a free little demo program we made to help customers perform a very easy an easy uh, check of the laser to be able to evaluate it. So here you can see we've pulled it up. Uh, this is a 700. And here it says restore the instrument to factory. It tells you how to hold the function button. Since we've already done that, I don't think we will probably need to do that again. And I'm on COM5, select sensor. In this case, I've got a dash four model. And then I would hit 
initialize or start and then the laser should start measuring as you can see we're, we're measuring right away we do have some uh, we do have an auto scale feature uh, we can invert the sign we have a relative which is a basically a tear or a zero and we can click that back again we also have an offset so if you wanted to add in um, let's say an inch and here you can see it has add it is put in that one inch and then if I go relative it zeroes it back out and then it comes back in we can change sampling speed pretty easily so now we're collecting faster data I would always turn on the background light illumination it modulates keeps out ambient light continuous mode we do have a linearized system a sensor where you can do a two-point calibration and here you can put sample priority or, or quality right so you can force it to go faster maybe it takes a little bit longer and these are the current sensor settings that you see right here and um, that'll give you a quick check of the sensor so as I sort of move this target around you're gonna see examples as I'm you know making this measurement anyway just a, a, a quick way to be able to uh, perform a you know, a quick check on the laser sensor.